How's it going, man? I heard you brought a surprise. Oh, you did bring a surprise. I see it right now. Wow. The radio. Super nice. Well, this is very unique. And it, you had it on the smaller frame, you were saying, and then what, too much torque frame, with it? Too much torque. Put it on this big, heavy frame. This airframe can handle the torque of that motor, and it flies absolutely great. Hands off. A lot of power. Hurts about six gallons an hour. Not too bad. I didn't either. I see a bunch of deer standing down there. Hey! I didn't see no gators. Oh, Jesus. It's direct drive, correct? Well, no, there's a, there's a planetary gear in it. It's a gear reduction box right there. About a two, it's about, I think it's a three to one reduction ratio, I'm not sure. Something like that. It's the Rotec 110 horsepower. But like they say, Torque flies things, not not horsepower. And this has the power to do it. This uh, it's a heavy machine. It's about 840 some pounds for this machine. But that motor needs the weight, and it needed the twin tails to control all that yaw that you get from the torque. So what were you getting before when you just had the single tail? Uh, single tail, it was just, the frame was just way too light for that engine, okay. so I couldn't even go over half throttle with it without it wanting to roll over. Okay, this, you can go full throttle with it. I don't know, it probably does maybe a hundred, I'm not sure. I haven't really messed with it that much. It's much funner just going slow with it, because it just sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to have your mandatory buckets for the oil. Oh. Kind of like the Depends version. That because that's what they do. <laughs> if they don't leak oil, they're not working. Open up the little drain valves. How much oil you need to add to it each flight? Uh, not too much. It doesn't burn as much oil as it leaks. So maybe, I think all this weekend I only put about half a quart in. But I'll filter all that oil again that drips out of it and use it again because it's all clean oil. It just depends on where you stop the prop, if your exhaust valve's open or if your intake valve's open. It'll take all that oil from up here and just drain it down the bottom of the engine. But if they don't have oil on the back, they're not working. Bear, are you using, is there some kind of special oil that it's supposed to take as opposed to? Uh, this is taking a full synthetic, like 5W20. And then what size tank you got on it? 17, 20? Fuel? Yeah. All together, I got Oh wow. 22 I... here, seven there, and 14 back there. And it burns how much? Only six hours. Okay. Yeah. You had that much fuel because well, this I used to be the jet. This was the jet. I got you. Yeah. So I don't really only need these right now. I'm not even using the seat tank. I'm not using the back tank at all. So even with that, that's a good three and a half hours worth of cruise time. Huh? And I'm not going to sit there for three and a half hours. <laughs> There's no way. Well, since this was the jet gyro, we know it was built heavy duty. Oh, it was. This was definitely the frame that could handle that motor. I mean, look at how beefy that frame is. And we sat there for years going, man, I'm going to put the radio on that. I might put twins on it. I got twin angles. <laughs> but we finally decided to go ahead and do it. About three months ago, I decided to do this because I want to get ready for Dunson Bass. 
same pre-rotator that you had on the other one, I guess, too. Uh, no, I actually went and got gyro technique rotors and a head for this one. Which is smooth, and that's a good start. Well, look, it looked and sounded good up in there. I could just remember. I had Dennis make me up a bracket for the start. Start. He wasn't thrilled about it. He made me. What do we got up here? Break for the... Break for the uh, pretty simple. I like them simple. Just basic instrumentation for the motor and airspeed. Whoop! There's a motor cap. 